Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the buttons that are available in the alignment group of the layout tab of the table tools contextual tab in the ribbon to change the alignment of the cell content for any selected cells. To do this, just select the cells whose text alignment you wish to change, and then click the desired alignment button up in the alignment group. Let's do that. We have at the bottom of our table here this merged cell that we created earlier. We'll make sure we're on the Layout tab, and then we'll look in the Alignment group. And we'll see we have a lot of different choices here. If you hold your mouse pointer over those buttons, you'll see what they are. Alignment top right, you can just give that a click. Alignment bottom center, alignment top left, and so forth. So you can just give those a click to change your text alignment. Now if you need to actually change the direction that the text flows within a selection of cells, you can easily use the text direction button in the alignment group to actually rotate the direction of the text in the selected cells by 90 degrees each time that you click the button. You just give that a click and that would change the direction of the text. You can also click the hyphenation button, just to the right of that, in that alignment group to set hyphenation of text within the selected cell or cells. In the hyphenation dialog box that appears, you can check the automatically hyphenate this story checkbox located right here, and then enter the desired hyphenation zone measurement into the hyphenation zone text box just below it. You can also click the manual button to manually set hyphenation for the selected cell or cells within a table if you so desire. You can also change the amount of spacing that's placed between the edge of the cell and the text for the selected table cells. In order to do this, just select the cells whose spacing you want to alter and then click the cell margins button in the alignment group. So for example, we could Go ahead and select these cells here, and then click the cells margins. And if you roll your mouse pointer over that, you'll see what that does. You could also go down to custom margins and set your own custom margins if you wish. You can also set certain stylistic options for selected cells in a table using the buttons that are available in the typography group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab up in the ribbon. You can click the Drop Cap drop-down, for example, to select a style of drop cap for the selected cell text. Let's look at that. Let's go ahead and select these cells here. We'll click on Typography and then choose Drop Cap. And then if we roll our mouse pointer over those choices, you'll see what those are or you could go down and select custom drop cap and create your own in terms of the size of the letters, change that, click OK, and make any choices that you want. Go ahead and undo that. Now if the text that you select is numeric, let's go ahead and select some of those. In this case, then you can use the number style drop down to choose a number style that's also under typography number style, and again, any of those choices that are available. You can click the ligatures drop down here to set a desired ligature style for the text, which can sometimes improve its readability. Now these really all depend on the font that you've chosen. Sometimes if you've chosen a particular font, you won't have these options. They'll be grayed out and you won't be able to click and change those. Also, for some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Set drop-down to select a set of alternate character shapes for the selected text. That would be that choice up at the top. If the font you've selected includes any decorative characters, you can click the Swash button right there to enable flourishes in the selected text. Also, for some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Alternate drop-down to select a set of different character shapes 
for the selected text. Again, this all depends on the particular font that you've chosen. Sometimes you won't have these options available. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.